In this short video, I'll be showing you how you can create very cool or creepy AI art progress videos. These can be cool to use for YouTube stories or for social media. They can also be quite tricky to make unless you know a few mid-journey commands and a little bit about which version you need to use in order for them to work. I'll be showing you all that, so let's just get straight into it. So here we are in mid-journey. As you can see, I've already been having fun creating some videos and trying this out for you guys. So you don't have to go through the pain of trying to get this to work like I did. The first step is to create a prompt as normal. So type slash imagine and enter whatever generation you wish to make. For me, I'm going to try making a cute cartoon spider hanging from a web while smiling, but I need to add some very important commands afterwards. Otherwise, it simply will not work. So here is what you'll want to add. Two dashes, then the word test. Do the same, but add creative. AR169, and then the word video. So the end of your prompt will look like this. The test and creative tags will help Midjourney know that you wish to use features that perhaps aren't fully implemented into the current version of Midjourney. This technique uses Midjourney version 3 by default. It will not work with version 4 or 5, so only stick with this to be sure it works. The AR169 tag is the aspect ratio. This is important to add. Otherwise, Midjourney will create a grid of four images by default. And as such, you'll end up with a video showing the progress of all four images, which isn't ideal. So be sure to add AR169 to the end of your prompt, so Midjourney can create a single output. It will only do a single output when combined with the test and creative tags as shown. And lastly, the video tag tells Midjourney to create a frame-by-frame -frame video of the progress, which we will be able to access afterwards. So once you've done this, simply hit enter and generate your prompt as normal. The generation will take longer than usual, so be patient as Midjourney is generating more in the background this time. So Midjourney has finished our cute spider. You'll notice that the image is there, but where is the video? Well, to access the video, we need to use our trusted friend, the envelope. You need to go to the top right corner of your generation and hit the reaction icon. From there, you need to click the envelope icon. If you don't see the icon, you can simply search for the word envelope in the search bar and click it from there. None of the others will work, so be sure to click the first plain envelope icon. Once that is clicked, that will ask Midjourney to give us our final video, as well as some other information about the generation, like our seed and job number if required. You can play the video directly from the Midjourney window and watch as the video and artwork starts to form in front of you or you can click the video link it provides to watch it in your browser. You can also click your right mouse button and then save link as to download the video anywhere on your computer. So now we're going to try one more prompt, but this time we can simply copy and paste the ending part of the prompt, which will save time typing later. I'm going to try a cute evil villain with red hair in a cartoon style. Looks more like something out of the Bride of Chucky movies rather than cute, but that will do for now. But once again, we will react to the generation with our envelope icon to get our video link and watch it in action. Pretty cool, eh? So why not try it yourself and see what you can create? Hopefully Midjourney will add this feature in an easier way one day, with also adding the ability to use version 5. But for now, we have this, and it's still pretty useful. Thank you all again for watching and being a part of my channel. Watching the channel grow is really exciting, and as long as I can make a video that helps people out, I'm happy. Until next time, best wishes and I'll see you again soon.